Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to another episode of Speed Secrets. For this episode, we're working with the guys from FAST and we're comparing one of their FAST LSXR EFI intakes to a single plane carbureted intake. Now the single plane manifolds are notorious for making a big peak power number. So let's see how they compare on an LS3 headed 408 stroker. The test motor for any comparison is very important. So for our intake shootout, we chose a 408 LS stroker short block from ATK. Now that short block was taught with a set of factory GM LS3 heads. We also installed a healthy comp cam. Because our cylinder heads came with factory LS3 valve springs, they also required a spring upgrade. So in addition to the camshaft, comp cams also supplied a dual spring upgrade, a set of hardened push rods, and a set of 89 pound fast injectors. So let's check out the parts that went into our test motor and jump on the dyno. Starting with a 408 stroker short block. We added a healthy comp cam with factory LS3 heads, max lift rockers and a spring upgrade with fast ignition coils and a single plane intake. Nice power from the single plane. Equipped with a single plane intake and 850 carburetor, our 408 stroker produced 554 horsepower and 519 foot pounds of torque. Now that we've run the single plane, let's install that fast LSXR and see how she does. Then we installed the fast LSXR with 89 pound injectors and a 102 big mouth throttle body. Then up on the dyno. Nice gains from the fast intake. Okay guys, the results are in. Equipped with that fast LSXR intake and 102 millimeter throttle body, our 408 stroker produced 552 horsepower and 529 foot pounds of torque. If you look just at the peak numbers, the fast manifold made two horsepower less and 10 foot pounds more than the single plane. But that doesn't tell the whole story, and that's why we include a graph. If you look at the graph from 3500 all the way to 6000 RPM, that long runner fast manifold made more power and torque than the single plane. Only above 6000 did the single plane start making a little more power. The gains were as high as 27 foot pounds at 4200 RPM, but the fast manifold offered a solid 12 to 15 foot pounds throughout the entire curve. So it just goes to show you, in this RPM range, even on a stroker motor, that fast manifold is tough to beat. I'm Richard Holdner, that's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams and Fast. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.